Hello, I'm Chris Cummings. I'm the CEO of Petro Technologies, and we provide rock-solid IT every day. Today, I'd like to let you know about phishing. Yes, again, that's P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, phishing. So phishing continues to be the weapon of choice still for cyber attackers. According to Proofpoint's 2021 State of the Fish report, they have identified phishing attacks as one of the top data security problems facing businesses, with three out of the four organizations worldwide reporting attacks in 2020. When attacks were successful, 60% of the organizations lost data, and 47% were infected with ransomware. These numbers show why phishing remains a favorite tactic in the cyber criminal toolbox. And with 96% of the phishing attacks delivered via email, it's more critical than ever for workers to stay vigilant and think before they click. However, there are some simple ways to look for and not take the bait. So here's a refresher on what is phishing. Phishing's definition is a fraudulent attempt to trick the individual into divulging sensitive information like usernames, passwords, and banking details by pretending to be a trusted source, often through an email communication. So spear phishing is a more personal way of targeting a victim which leverages three potential weaknesses in a recipient. The apparent source appears to be a known or trusted individual. The message contains information supporting its validity, or the request seems to have a logical basis. So phishing emails typically try to lure the recipient into doing one of two things, handling over sensitive or valuable information, or downloading malware. There are several types of phishing, but each has the potential to wreak havoc on an organization. I'll give you a link in this video that you can look up the types of phishing. So the four steps to avoid some of these scams, from an organizational perspective, the FTC provides a helpful overview and good advice for recognizing and avoiding phishing. I'll give you that link too. So here's the four steps. Protect all computers in the organization by using secure software. Set the software to update automatically so it can deal with any new security threats. Two, protect all mobile devices and tablets by instituting a mandatory update policy on devices that access your network. These updates could give you critical protection against security threats. And third, protect your accounts by using a multi-factor authentication. We've covered that by a previous video as well. Some of these accounts offer extra security by requiring two or more credentials to log in to the account. This is called a multi-factor mode. These additional credentials are required and fall into two different categories. Something the user has, like a passcode you get via a text message authentication app, or something the user is, like a scan of a fingerprint, a retina, or even their face. So multi-factor authentication makes it harder for scammers to log into the accounts, even if they do get a username and password. So now fourthly, protect your data by backing it up. We've covered many other types of backup in other videos as well. But back up your data and make sure those backups are not connected to the usual network. For example, copy computer files to external devices like cloud storage or hard drives and have them encrypted. And you can even back up the data from your phone too. So these critically important and useful steps are used for safeguarding yourself and your organization against cyber criminals. So until next time, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and at the web at Petrotech IT. If you have any questions or comments, drop them into the comment section and I'll address them in a future video. Thanks.